Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by. For today's video, we're going to talk about the 10 modifications that we have made to our Super C motor home. As you know, if you've been following the channel, you know we have a Thor Magnitude RB34 on the F550 chassis. We love her. But there's some things that we thought we could improve upon. I'm going to give you a rundown of the 10 things that we did to improve our Thor magnitude. The first one, the ride quality. We went, we replaced the OEM shocks and steering damper with Bilstein. Bilstein, you see that blue one in there? And after 2,500 miles of driving, I can tell you, I'm glad I spent that money and that time to improve the, the ride quality. And those Bill Stein shocks, hands down, fantastic. They're just fantastic product. The second thing we did, number two on our on our ten, top 10 list, number two, the outside kitchen. Or, or as I like to, to refer to what it was, it was an outside beverage center. This originally had a refrigerator and a little sink that pumped the water up into the gray tank, which is up here. Uh, there was a sump thing down there. Water was sitting in that and getting stagnant, and it smelled, and I hated it. And we never used the outside refrigerator, so I deconstructed the sink and installed a shower and a, an additional storage tray there so we can now wash the dogs or dishes or whatever out here. Took out the refrigerator. We already had the washing machine. Now this, this motorhome already, it has a washer dryer prep in the bedroom, but we already had a washer and dryer. We just needed to be able to transport it. So there you go. And while I was, and while we were on our 2,000 mile journey to North Carolina, we found out the hard way running down the road that this door <laughs> did not latch properly. It actually came open while we were driving. And this was supposed to, is what kept the door closed. So this little latch, we grab a hold of that. Supposedly it didn't. So I replaced that with some aluminum angle. And now the door stays closed. Number three on the modification list for our Thor Magnitude Super C. Of course, you've already, if you're a follower of the channel, you saw this video. We tow an F-150 and we use a Demco tow bar and to get level with get horizontal we had to drop from the two and a half inch class five down to our two inch class four to attach to the tow bar well, while i'm doing that i might as well add a, a second receiver so that we can put a storage basket the basket i'm a fan of that basket for firewood and everything garbage the Thor magnitudes don't have sewer storage. You have to put it inside the compartment with your other stuff. We didn't like that. So I mounted this box back here and all of our sewer stuff is in there away from everything else. Oh, by the way, a lot of these products I purchased, almost all of them I purchased on Amazon and the link will be in the description below. And yes, I am an Amazon affiliate and we earn a little bit of money anytime you make a purchase. It doesn't change your price at any, in any way, but it does help support the channel. So thank you for in, in advance for your purchases. Number four on our top 10 modifications list is in the electric box bay. And we've got three bays that have this pass through space. It's a seven inches tall and it goes all the way to the other side of the coach, which is okay if you're putting long skinny stuff in there, but for just normal, just storing stuff, that's wasted space. And so I built 
some tray drawer trays out of just some inexpensive plywood reinforce the corners with quarter inch the ends are quarter inch plywood on the bottom i put some poplar strips with coated in surf wax and i store all my fishing gear in these two trays gets it up out of the bay out of the way but it's easy to access actually i actually built three of those trays but have but can't use the third one number five on the modifications list and you know if you're a follower of the channel then you know that we travel with rat terriers we have two rat terriers and they are very excitable and tex is he's a little he's a little hoss man he's a little chunk 17 pounds uh, we were concerned that this might not slow him down it's just the the netting the no seam screen so i went to lowe's and i bought a metal panel that's an aluminum panel that's perforated uh, i cut it to fit now there's two finished edges and then the other two edges were not finished and so i rolled them and then just screwed that to the screen and a little extra barrier to keep those rat terriers from running out the door we always wear our shoes going into the rv just because that's just what we do and that brings in sand so i found these that actually were almost the right size for these these steps are really narrow but the the mats were custom cut and were easy to fit into those steps and those mats each will hold about two pounds of sand and we have another one that we put down here and we've pretty well eliminated any sand coming in with these so that's number five so number six now one of the one of the things about the Thor Magnitude Super C that we really love in temperate weather and cooler weather is the cab over the bunk window. So that, that great big picture window there. We just love that, except for in the summer. And then it becomes a terrarium. And in Texas, if you're camping in the summer, the last thing you want is more heat. So I bought a roll of Reflectix, four foot wide Reflectix that I cut to fit and then put white duct tape on there. And so we have this one that fits inside the, sh the shade and then another one that fits inside the plastic area because you could feel the radiation coming through that plastic too. And it was very simple to, to hold in place because there's already a couple of there's already notches cut into this channel and little s hooks fit right in there and a bungee cord stretched across there holds it in place and it really makes a huge difference in the heat gain so we don't have that terrarium effect going on and i had enough reflectix that i could make window passenger window or door shades and i I actually have enough left over that I can do the windshield should I so desire, but I already had the piece for the, the, the window, the windshield. Number six on our list is what to do with the cell phone. We still use our cell phone for navigation, even though we have an onboard navigation in the F550 chassis, but the phone, there's no place up here to actually put your phone. Uh, it just kind of floats around. I found on Amazon, the, the in my opinion the best solution for mounting your phone it's kind of hard to see because it's black it's right there it actually screws into the dash you pop out the dash panel and you put it on it didn't take very long to do i have a magnet attached to that and a metal plate on the back of the phone case and so the phone just sticks up there piece of cake number eight is storage or better storage now the thor magnitude line they've, they've got lots of interior storage and this one is definitely no exception and here above the sofa we've got these two great cabinets and you can see that there's lots of room in there and it's kind of dead space unless you're putting a bunch of chips in there which is what that one's for 
this one, we were just piling stuff in there that you couldn't get to it. Uh, so I found, I, you know, I had some scrap lumber in the garage. And I just popped together this shelf. It's not attached in there, it, but it just, it makes that space even more usable. And in the kitchen pantry, we have a similar situation where you know, a great cabinet, lots of space, but it's kind of wasted space because of the height. And so I added a small shelf in the back. It's nothing more than scrap lumber screwed together. But that allows us to put canned goods, heavy stuff on the bottom, and lightweight stuff on the top, and be able to better utilize that space. And in the cabinet above, you know, same situation. We've got the coffee maker, and then all that stuff on the back was just piled in there. So now we've kind of corralled our, our long box stuff. Just gets it out of the way. I've actually purchased that on Amazon. Number nine on our list. It's pretty simple. Towels. Wet towels. Now, the coach came with a, 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 a hanger there, and then there's a towel bar there, but there's two of us, and one of us uses two towels every, every shower, and there's two of those showers a day. So we gotta dry some, air dry some towels. And yeah, we can throw them over the, over the door uh, they don't dry real well that way so I actually had these in the garage from the last house uh, so now we've got plenty of places to hang towels and rain gear and whatever wet stuff that needs to be dried out so that's number nine is drying your towels number ten this is a really important one number ten the Thor line comes with this great porcelain toilet. What's not so great about the porcelain toilet is the one, it comes with this plastic lid and seat. That the seat is honeycombed with pockets to this reinforced that way. So after our long trip and trying to keep that clean, Yappy said, do something about it. And so I jumped on Amazon and I found the toilet seat that fits it, but best of all, it's a soft close, so we don't have to worry about slamming toilet lids at night, because sometimes they get away from you, you know? And there you have it. That's number 10 on our top 10 list for Thor motorhome modifications, improvements. I got a, I got two bonus ones. One, and then you can't really. These these weren't modifications. This this was just. Oh hey, this is a, this is a neat idea. So when I was cleaning the outside of the coach and putting on the wax, the ceramic coating. There's another video for that. Uh, making her shine. That same product that I use in the final application to make Trudy shine. Oh, well, I'm, why not try that on the sink and see what happens? So as you can see, water just beads right up. Now, if you're brushing your teeth in that stainless steel tank, in that stainless steel sink, in a, in a couple of days, it starts to develop a film. Even if you're wiping it out, it gets hazy. Well, the toothpaste does not stick to that anymore makes it much easier to clean. And while I was doing that, I got, hey, easier to clean. What about, what would happen if I put that same stuff in this porcelain toilet? It just beads right off. Now that does, now this motorhome doesn't come with a sprayer, so you gotta figure out how to get that hanger on stuff cleaned off. Now, we have not used this since I applied that coating, but I feel pretty confident that things are not going to stick and it's going to be much easier to clean. It will require reapplication periodically. And the link for that product will be in the description below. 
it's a exterior finishing product, but pff, I can't say enough good stuff about it. And the second bonus round, so actually we have 12 things, but the second bonus modification. This was something that we all, I already had. I did a, uh, a company sent it to me as a demo when we had the other motorhome. It was about a year and a half ago. And I had the great idea to put a camera on the back of the pickup so that when we're pulling the pickup with the motor home, we can see behind the pickup. Now, the this coach comes with an exterior camera and monitor, which, by the way, this monitor is horrible. There's so much glare on it most of the time. You really, it's not usable unless it's dark. That's that I've even put a shade on it. And still the glare is just bad you can't see behind the pickup so i've installed put the I have, i'm not not a permanent installation i have the halo view sitting on a bean bag and the camera on the back of the truck so if we pass pass somebody on the freeway i know i'm clear to change lanes no no more questions about it so there you have it the top 10 list of mod improvements to the Thor motorhome with two bonus. Hope you find this helpful. And remember, the links are in the, for, for a lot of these products, the links are in the, the description below. If this is your first visit to Dude RV, I'd be honored if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you. I am very honored. That's why I do what I do. And for my patrons, y'all rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?